Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiser, I guess, Poland. We managed to land in Japan. Well, again, I guess, technically. But, you know, it's a disaster and I hate it and everything is bad and sucks. We're trying to send over divisions that, to fix this, but then they're already immediately attacking us. Please. I am begging you. Immediately send all of our planes back to the home island to try to reduce any bonuses that they have as much as humanly possible. They immediately attack in, huh? The last stand again. The 18 stack has arrived. Red Army is almost here as well. It's just... You know, everything is just... It is what it is. You actually managed to get a surround here. I don't know how you managed to accomplish that, but I am proud of you. Okay. Operation, we immediately need to start attacking our way out of here. Okay. Something is getting done. We're accomplishing something. We got Japan down to about half health. Half, half health. Half, uh... After strength here. Hold off for a second in this region. Like, this is... If we can actually get them in circle, that's gonna be, like, a pretty nice get for us. Let's try something like this. Keep on pushing. Again, we want to kind of cut Japan in half. Something like now we're we're getting somewhere. Again, the AI, as you may have noticed, hasn't done anything at all to help us here. Really, it was, again, all me. Again, air superiority. I mean, if we, like, take over all their airports... It's hard to have air superiority if you have nowhere to land a plane. This way, you've now made progress. Keep going. I mean, so air spirit. Actually, you don't have air spirit already anymore. Oh, it's about 50 50. I'm so okay. First things first. Uh, somebody needs to defend the, uh, the dock we just took. I absolutely cannot afford to get that, uh, captured. I'm gonna take over the entire northern island. Can you guys do anything from the south, though? The answer is yes. You guys can now start marching up here because apparently the AI just kind of abandoned it. Which works for me for sure. Do you know how many airplanes are here? Uh, about like 500, which is... Oh, look at that. Air superiority is on our side. A blessed day. You can march your way up to Tokyo, or Hiroshima, I should say. So what are you, you worry about naval invasions from the north? This guy's still willing to actually, uh... Yeah, let's hold off something like that. Yeah, 
so that should be the entire North Island taken care of. Are you core up here? It is, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. So now that we have air superiority, it is now a negative 13 on them and a plus 5 on us. They said it could not be done, and yet here we are. The day of reckoning has arrived, Japan. All the sorrow you have caused me so far in this campaign. Japan always does this, by the way. Japan is just a... Same with Russia, really. It just sucks the life out of you. Entire North has been secured. Quickly probably push across the straits. Germany can probably hold on to that front for now. Oh, the yeah, I did it. They landed in Tokyo. At least they didn't take the port, but it's still, you know, annoying. I mean, like, taking this area doesn't really matter too much. Supplies should be good. I mean, Tokyo Elite is the Azure capital, so it does provide a, a lot of support for them. I guess you guys can go up and around. Japan. Again, they, we did lose Tokyo, so that's probably one reason why it's being more difficult than normal send orange army down to the south like i think we can all agree you guys are in a pretty bad spot now, let's see if we can unify these lines up Because like, they're trying to do like these weird invasions from behind. Like it works sometimes, but Transcourt State, who is that? Somebody waiting out of south that I do not care about. Okay. Got 40 here. Keep on pushing. Yeah, we want to get green and the tanks actually down here in Japan itself. Osaka's pretty defended. Yeah, but it's like as soon as you can get enough areas in Japan to uh, kind of cooperate, it does go a lot smoother. Even if it is still basically a real pain in the ass to actually get the first invasion to work. Japan is, is strange. Like, it's not like England or like Britain. Britain falls pr pretty easily once you can actually land on the country. Japan is Japan and doesn't like the fall. I think 
pay for you. Clean this up. What we're wanting to do is basically try to surround these cities. If you guys come down here, should get us around these guys pretty easily. And now all of purple is going to get redirected right down to here. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Tokyo, please fall at some point in the near future. Thank you very much. And this area should fall as well. Yeah, the troops from, like, Russia... Oh, our Cypher's decrypted they're from Japan. Okay. Well, we might as well use it now, because I don't think we'll be able to use it really much in the future. Reveal the enemy intelligence. Kind of clean this up. It did take it back Tokyo. Yeah, you defend this area for here. Do want to get like a surround on Tokyo? Like Kyoto and Osaka, they both gotta fall. Uh, might as well send you to the island. I don't think it really makes any difference, but Green Army, you don't have a plan. I guess now Green Army. I mean, who are we still at war with after this? Colombia, Venezuela. I think. To be completely honest, I don't think the campaign is going to be lasting after Japan. But if you watch this channel enough, you know that I'm not a huge fan of just like the, uh, I guess the cleanup work you can kind of call it. Where, you know, it's like one or two countries that you just got to go invade and... I mean, not that they probably have, like, a strong navy or anything. Like, Australia has... I mean, they still have, like, 100 ships. Um... You guys have decent armies. I mean, if you're all in here, you should be able to win that war against Colombia and Venezuela pretty easily. We'll still go to, I think, the regular... Uh, time if we beat Japan early, which we should be doing, I think. I think, yeah, as soon as Osaka falls, I'm pretty sure that is game. I mean, how many men did I lose? 100,000? I mean, to be fair, I'm mostly sending Hungarians to their death, so. I guess it's not too surprising. And now that you guys have finally started to push your way through here, but I'm assuming that's because most of the Japanese army left go defend here as much as they possibly could I guess our aircrafts we have a port in the region uh not even in Brazil huh Send them to Cuba for now. I mean, how close are they? Yeah, no, we gotta take uh, Osaka from them. Please give up. Like, literally, like a hundred thousand men to show up at your front door. So I guess we'll send you to here. You have fun in that area in the world. Everyone else should capitulate. 
Oh no, Siam is considered a major power? Okay, well then I guess we're gonna send the Red Army to Siam. I mean, we still have naval superiority in these regions, don't we? The answer is yes. What did I do? I am dumb. Put you to Hanoi. Half of you just go to here. I mean, I guess we probably should keep... We'll keep the tanks in Japan itself. Japan's is about to capitulate. I mean, why is... The Siamese Federation considered a great power? I don't know. I'm not a, uh... Not a scientist here. They have, like, no organization. I don't know how you are struggling to deal with this situation. Uh... We should mostly be fine, right? Yeah, we have almost 600,000 rifles. So we, we should be good, I would say. Well, this territory did go to us. It does take a lot for a country to become uncapitulated, so I'm not really worried about that. Even if Japan still has apparently 63 divisions, we should still be fine. Go down to Brisbane, I guess. Because we at least want to capitulate the Japanese. And their faction. So this might end up being one more episode long. Uh, than I had originally thought that it might be. Dude, look at that. We've already built ten... Ten really shitty submarines. I, what's, your, what's your combined power right now? Uh, I gotta find someone that has no no supremacy in this region. A thousand. Build shitty submarines. Like if you want else priority, that's what you want the most of for sure. How blue? How long is it gonna take for you to get to? And it's gonna take you a month to get to Venezuela, huh? I guess we're at War Columbia, right? So we can't just go through the canal. I mean, Belgium looks like they might be able to do this on their own anyways. Before we even get there. And that'd be nice. It does make my life substantially easier. Just get to the invasion go a little bit faster. Get done in three days. Seems good. The south shouldn't really be a problem. I just don't think the AI is actually even trying to push this, which is the issue. Please let me research stuff. Spare amount of rockets? Why not? And the final construction speed upgrade. So that should fire soon. Not superiority rounds. Australia, but that is okay. I don't know if it's superiority, really. There we go. That has solved our issue. Red Army, I'm sure you can just go deal with this on your own pretty easily. Another election. I mean, who's popular? It's the... It seems like no matter what...
The monarchist party? Sure, why not them? 53% support? Seems okay. I don't even know why we get an election so quickly. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't think I am, though. Okay, so looks like the Americans just want to kind of be isolationist, and I'm completely fine with that. It works out for me. This stuff doesn't matter anymore. In fact, it probably never really mattered in the first place. And your job is basically just to march your way over here. And it should work out fine. You're still almost your way to Vancouver. Surprised Venezuela hasn't capitulated quite yet, but it should be. Yeah, we probably actually probably won't even get there uh, in time for them to not be dead. Go straight to Bangkok. Let's see if that if that works out for us. You guys will go, be extremely aggressive in your battle plan. Okay, we'll send you guys down to, uh, down to the south towards Australia. Let's go take Bangkok. Please and thank you. But that should be the end of the Japanese war. Venezuela is about to die. If they actually decide to march in that territory, which apparently they don't want to do. Really just no airport? There's only one airport and it's just near uh, the north there, huh? By the way, Ethiopia is doing a pretty good job against that Cairo pack, uh, considering the, uh, the overwhelming numbers against them, I would say. This war shouldn't take too much longer, I would say. Okay, you are at... Well, where's your current capital? Up, up there? Over five victory points. Like it's not actually that expensive. Or it's not worth that much, I should say. So I'm surprised that is your current capital. Oh Trying to invade Australia. You know, we'll probably just make this episode 35 minutes long, and then be like, wherever we get to at the end of this one, that's the end of it. What we should be able to kill Siam. Uh, we should probably defeat these guys as well and now making our way slowly across the great white north and they should be dead soon venezuela you know whenever they actually decide to march one province up and colombia maybe as soon as they take uh this city here how close are they to death well oh, halfway So nothing too, too crazy there. Are you in a faction? The answer is no. The Philippines, I think, should capitulate as well. I am going to uh, capitulate at midnight tonight. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So, Japan, of course, that's mine. You think that you're, I'm going to give the AI anything? No. Honestly, you think I'm going to give the AI anything of anything here? The answer, of course, is absolutely not. Except for Germany East Asia. They can have this area just because it's going to look nice. Uh, Germany East Asia. You can have that because that makes some more aesthetic borders. 
that's what we're all here for, right? The aesthetics. Okay, so the fate of Japan. Wait, a Japanese puppet. Yeah, it's gonna take a a mere moment for the thing to figure out what's happening. Fate of Korea. Fate of Loyal Republic. Uh, Transmere. We will give it to our Russian ally. I don't think they, they can do anything. Like I don't think they could be able to attack us if we didn't take it, give it to them. Liberate a loyal Filipino government. Turn Germany to Asia lands. I mean, I'll do it if I can. Oh, well, Philippines now on the north. And the fate of Indonesia. We will liberate Indonesia. And I guess I'll give that other northern area to Germany's Asia as well. So it seems like that makes sense. Is this in the West Indies Federation, right? Those are the two people that we still have to capitulate. Okay, we'll give that back to Germany's Asia. And I don't know if Germany's Asia is actually going to release a puppet. I don't think they can because they're a puppet themselves. But either way, I would say the... The Rice Pact is looking pretty, pretty strong here. Oh yeah, they're definitely going to get this uh, dead first. So you know what? Let's just prepare a naval invasion then from... From Cuba to Kingston... Uh, what other major cities do they have? Israel, I don't know. Actually, the Belgians are already landing in a bunch of these areas, so... They actually might be landing in Kingston right now. West Indies Federation has no men. Which makes the invasion of them pretty simple. No, you're not landing there. That's fine. But one guy on the invasion order, then. Okay, so you guys have landed. Send all of green here. And your job is basically to march your way down towards the south where everybody lives. I think, that's, I think that seems pretty fair. We'll send you guys here. Orange. Honestly, I don't really know. To be completely honest. I guess I'll we'll just put you on the border with the United States. Because that makes about the most amount of sense. Really, you have not just tried to capitulate anybody here, even though you easily could. Okay, okay let's do some cryptology in America. It's going to take about a year and a half. I doubt we'll be able to get uh, involved in that war at all. Now it is time for invasion. Australia, you'd be wise just to give up now, I would say. I suppose you're not landing in Kingston. Like, it would not even be a challenge for you. Let us draw this front line out like that. You're going to go here. Because apparently Belgium does not want to just... Make the kill. Venezuela's capitulated. Same with the other guy. Who cares about them? They do not matter. Everybody can go there. Seems like a fun time. Why does Angola exist? Because it was given to you. Okay, again, this is this is your only puppet. Right? You have no other puppets? No, you still have the West African Commune, but they don't have any ter- Oh no, they do still have territory. And then you have Nepal, but Nepal is okay. You can have Nepal. I'm not worried about you having Nepal. How many troops did Australia land down here? 
potentially their entire army, which maybe is what I would classify as being a mistake. I guess we may also have to invade Austria, like New Zealand, right? I mean, it's part of the Federation, so you would think so. So I think landing Kingston will be the death of the West Indies Federation. I don't think they have any other... Yeah, they have capitulated. Let's split the Federation, make a bunch of tiny islands just because I can. I don't think I'm... Does that make it take longer to load? I'm not too, too sure. Like, it makes sense, given the context that we're making more tags, but... It might not actually make any difference in the world. Okay, Columbia. You're halfway dead. The Belgians have done surprisingly good work. I think we just kept Hirohito on the throne. Like, we don't care. In Australia. Have you even taken any of their major cities quite yet? Yeah, that is your plan. I think it makes sense. It seems like a decent plan. Take another major city of theirs. They're now 39. Are you considered cores? You are. March your way up to the wars of the north. And this should be the end. As soon as Australia is dead. Soon as the, again, I don't know why it's been happening so much. The weird scrolling glitch. Does anybody else have that glitch or is it actually just me? It might just be me. I'm not too sure. As soon as we take Kali. Should be us having one. I, like we don't need to research anything else. Like it's fine. Like the campaign is over. More or less. So what, who do we not control in North America? Or not in North America, in Europe. Really just a small amount of holdouts. And technically, of course the commune owns this territory. It doesn't even make sense for them to have it, but... There's a territory over here as well! It's just like an actual mess. You know, that is Turkey. You also own the Azores, because of course you do. I mean, while they're dealing with everything everywhere else. Supposed to be Portuguese. Why don't we just, you know... Wait, no, what is your tag? E debug. Sell all AST. Again, it doesn't matter. Like, we're. If I didn't. If we don't kill them, like, naturally, then I was just going to annex them to the state transfer tool. I at least want to kill Columbia. Like, I don't got all day. I mean, I do. It's like midnight, but. Just ignore that part. Sydney has fallen. So we'll probably, we'll probably have to make our way all the way to Perth, and that is... It's more of an annoyance than anything else, I would say. So, Belgium. For your great work in this campaign. I don't even know where you are in here.
You can have that territory. Belgium's been doing pretty well for themselves. They got a... Well, they have one puppet, and that is Portugal. But that's more than you would expect, I would say. Are you releasing countries? Probably is what the holdup here is. Yeah, they released Colombia. And I think for just for the sake of brevity here. Look at that. We won the war in Australia. Isn't that insane? Yes, we're going to annex Australia. Release Australia, basically. And then the campaign will be over. We don't need like an entire ep extra episode of me just walking through Australia. I, I think that is... Unnecessary, to say the least. Okay, so we can ease on conscription. Let's liberate Australia and New Zealand. And I believe, with this liberation, you know, liberate, quote-unquote, we should be good to go. Again, it's, it, it takes a while. Australia, Australia is very big. It's a big place. You, know, you can't rush these things. Australia over here. Led by, again, the exact same dude. New Zealand, also led by somebody who I'm pretty sure we are at war with before. As soon as you release Venezuela... Belgium, if you would be so kind as to do that, which I think you're doing now. The Reich's Pact, looking pretty good. China is still not unified at all, but we don't have to worry about that uh, in any way, shape, or form. So, I think with that, this is going to be a good time for us to end this campaign. So, thanks to everybody for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, put a thumbs up. I'll do a thumbs down. Once more, subscribe, and goodbye.